Hi friends, it's Christiana Gaudet. I am live on the StarCon page. If you happen to be watching an archive on the StarCon website, here on Facebook or on YouTube, thanks so much for being here. Every Tuesday I come on and give some sort of a tip around psychic work, divination, tarot, all of that stuff. Today's tip is about oracle cards. We love oracle cards, don't we? And at StarCon, we're going to have a number of oracle card designers presenting. So we're very excited to meet with them and to see their vision. So first of all, what is an oracle deck and how does it differ from a tarot deck? Well, linguistically, tarot is oracle. Every tool is an oracle. Everyone who works with a tool, every psychic, we're all oracles too. Linguistically, the way we use the term oracle cards or oracle deck isn't quite correct. But within our community, this is how we do it. A tarot deck has a particular, uh, has a, a particular order. It has a particular format. There's a major arcana, minor arcana. Typically, there are 78 cards. Minor arcana has four suits. So a tarot deck works with specific format and archetype. Oracle decks, as we define them, are really up to the author and the artist. There can be any number of cards. The cards can mean anything at all, depending on what the artist and the author um, see, you know, depending on what the artist and the author want the decks to be. Okay, so now within that category of oracle cards, I could break it down even further. For example, there are oracle decks that have a specific purpose. These are contact cards. You use them to divine about extraterrestrials. I'm not kidding. This is a deck of cards for awakening far memory they are reincarnation cards to look into past lives. So some oracles are designed for specific purposes. Obviously, use them for the purposes for which they have been designed. All right? Now, then there are decks that are designed simply for divination, healing, all of that. I would divide them into three different categories. There are cards that have a particular theme. Like here we have the Woodland Wisdom Oracle cards, and they have these fairies. We've got Grass Fairy. We've got Primrose Fairy. Now, you could divine with these cards simply by looking at them and saying, okay, here is Snow Goose Fairy. What do we see here? What's going on in the cards? How do they make us feel? But you could also read the booklet and even memorize the booklet to be able to do more effective readings. I think typically readers who read with Oracle cards professionally do memorize their cards. They memorize the booklet, they memorize the cards, and then work with them. And then we have decks where the cards actually have things written on them, right? So here this is, uh, let's see, Art Through the Eyes of the Soul Oracle. And uh, we have here, the emergence of Celtic white Tara bring peace to troubled waters. And so you can actually read the words on the cards. Now, there are also decks like this. This is uh, Chiro Marchetti's Oracle of Visions. And there is really not a particular theme they're just really interesting images. And yes, there is a book. You can memorize the book, but you can also just see what you see in the images. And so there are so many different kinds of Oracle decks, so many different kinds of art. You can really pick what resonates with you and what works best for your purposes. But I feel like there is a great use for these cards in terms of our own psychic development. Very often, I, I think the problem is 
that people will read with their Oracle decks and they will not read any further than what the booklet says or than what the card says right on it. And I don't think that's the way Oracle cards should best be read any more than I think that a good tarot reading comes from spouting off textbook interpretations and keywords. You got to be able to go deeper. And with an Oracle deck, here I've got the Mystical Wisdom card deck. We've got words and we've got a beautiful picture. And so what can you do with that? Spend time with the picture. Look at it with a soft gaze. Breathe with it. See what you see in the picture consciously. But while you are working with it, see what comes to you. See what spirit says to you. See what intuition says to you. See what you feel in your body or what you hear in your mind or what you see in your mind's eye. Reading an oracle card is not necessarily about what do I see in this card, although you can do that and that can be helpful. It's about where does the card take you? And do the same thing with the words. How do the words resonate for you? Read them aloud. How, you know, don't just take them at face value. See if you can go deeper. Are these words you've been thinking? Are these words you've heard in a dream? Are these words someone else has said to you? Make the connection. We know that with tarot reading, the whole key is about making the connection, making the connection between the cards and the question, between the cards, one another, between the cards and the positions in which they fall. Same is true for Oracle cards. So that is your tip for today. I do want to remind you that I have a class coming up tomorrow on Zoom. You can go to my website, tarotbychristiana.com, go to the events to get your ticket. That's tomorrow, 7 p.m. We're doing the Major Arcana. I'd love to see you there. I also want to remind you about StarCast, our podcast. It's spelled S-T-A-A-R-C-A-S-T. You can get it wherever you get your podcast. You can also watch it in video form on YouTube, and please subscribe to the StarCast channel. Again, S-T-A-A-R-C-A-S-T. Our most recent episode features a conversation with Christine Gorman, the artist who made Rachel Pollock her world card. So awesome. I, I think you'll really love it. Remember to go to the StarCon webpage. That's S-T-A-A-R-C-O-N.com. Please remember to like this video, like this page, and reach out and ask to join the group on Facebook, StarCon 2021. I will be back here tomorrow where we'll do some readings, so I'll look forward to seeing you there and then. Uh, tomorrow is our Star Bright Wednesday Wonders, where I do divination with an unfamiliar tool, so that's a lot of fun too. I'll look forward to seeing you later. Thanks all so much for being here.